Gallo, another victory here in the Bren. A slower start for you guys tonight. Your 18 first half points, just the second lowest scoring on the season behind that Butler game. How is Cal State Fullerton finding ways to limit you guys offensively? Um, they were playing good defense. They made us uncomfortable, and it was just a slow start for us. Our energy was low, and we picked it up in the second half. When you guys don't have shots that are necessarily falling the way you would like them to, how crucial is it for this team to rely on the backbone of the program and hold your defense tight? Uh, I mean, that's what we do, defense and rebounding. Like you said, if our offenses are going, we got to rely on our defense. That's huge for us. Another big performance for you personally, 14 points, 11 rebounds, a double-double. How have you able to stay consistent for your team? I'm just trying to play hard every, every possession, you know, and I'm taking shots that are good for me and good for our team, so it's been working out. Cal State Fullerton, tonight you handed them the loss. That completes the sweep of last year's Big West Tournament champs. How important was it for you guys as a group just to get this series under the belt early? That was huge because we know they're a good team and we're trying to win them all. You know, we, we know what our goals are and we're just taking it game by game. So we got Hawaii up next. The story of the Big West, yeah, is when one solid program comes in, you're getting photobombed by Peter here. Um, when one solid program comes in, another is knocking at the door. How do you guys look to hold off Hawaii for homecoming? We just got to get our game plan right. It starts tomorrow, 2 o'clock practice, and we're going to go hard and get ready because they're a good team too. So like you said, there's no easy games in the Big West. You know, everybody's competing, so we got to get ready. All right. Thanks, Gallo. Thank you.